Are you serious? Are you serious? Do not miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website. Mike from around the world is going to join us. We have to talk about what's going on. Asteroids, meteorites, space junk. What is falling from the heavens or all of it? Now, we do have some report. Mike, and also Mike told us that, that um, look, when the, when the waves of energy, the five waves of energy, when that second wave gets closer, you're going to see spectacular auroras. Folks, I'm going to show you my next video. I'm going to show you a picture of, uh, that Jim Keane took out there in Australia. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind on an aurora. But, but let me just say quickly, uh, weatherwatch.co.newzealand in Z, received a media report from all over New Zealand and the entire globe, all right? If you've seen something in the sky, please post the comment below. Well, people did. They are seeing this asteroid, this meteor that come crashing in uh, the other night, actually, and uh, yesterday. As a matter of fact, uh, the International Business Times, the Queen Queensland meteor raises questions on near-Earth asteroid monitoring. We're starting to ask the question because nobody, NASA, nobody told us about what was getting ready to hit yesterday. Nobody. Which shows you that never a straight answer. I mean, NASA is either A, can't catch them all, or is only telling us about the ones that are not dangerous and they're letting everything else fly. Or a little bit of both, okay? Mike from around the world, we've got to ask him. He said this was going to increase. He said it was going to get to where there's no longer a way to hide this thing. Now, Queensland residents reported hearing a loud bang, seeing a flash in the sky, feeling the ground shake like an earthquake yesterday. And this has led residents to speculate there was a meteor strike in central Queensland. Now, the reports were coming from residents who live near Gladstone, which is about 400 kilometers north of Brisbane, Australia, according to police. And police say hundreds of calls came in. Owen Benedict, a private astronomer from Wapa Falls Observatory, also got reports from 100 kilometer radius. This thing was big. It lit up the sky. It was a fireball. It, it hit, when it hit the earth, it caused a tremor an earth almost it felt like an earthquake it wasn't one but it, it was registered in the richter scale it but it definitely look knocked power we, people lost power um uh look benedict points out that it's not enough to, of being done to monitor the thousands of objects that orbit the earth uh one uh look one uh, kilometer or bigger in diameter, he says, besides the insufficient research being done on a global scale, there are not enough or observing to do it. Not enough people watching. NASA doesn't have enough techni technology. Uh, he, he observes that when there is a big scare, such as when uh, a comet comes in or something, then everybody kind of gets excited about this. But the truth is, folks, We've got unbelievable amounts of asteroids and meteors that are, uh, we are, we can't dodge them all. We're in a galactical plane. Something's shaking the heavens. Jesus said that was going to happen, of course, in Luke 21. He said there, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts fail them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth, for the power of heaven the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall we see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. Well, the main, mainstream, lamestream media is ignoring this event. They're ignoring this event because they don't know what to say. And until the White House gives them the words to say they can't speak because they don't know what to do. Because nowhere on NASA's chart was this was was this said it was gonna happen. Just like nowhere on their charts did it tell us that the event in February of 2013 would happen. So we're gonna ask Mike from around the world. He'll be our live guest at 12 noon Eastern. Do not miss this program. Special asteroid report live.